All right, welcome incoming sixth graders. I'm Miss Virgil, principal at Trainer Middle School. We are so excited that you're gonna be joining us next year. I wanted to make sure you met some of the fabulous teachers we have, and they're gonna tell you a little bit about some of the electives you have choices of choosing. So listen up, take some notes. Let's take it away. Coach Johnson, what do you have to say? Hi, Coach Johnson here, everybody calls me Chotch. In PE, we learn how to be healthy and strong. We'll learn lots of new sports like basketball, soccer, and volleyball. And football. <laughs> <laughs> boys, PE, right. boys PE, different games, but same philosophy. <laughs> Cool. In art, I'm Mrs. Turner. I'll be teaching art this year. And I'm super excited because we are going to do a virtual tour around the world, look at different art from different ages. And who knows, maybe you will be the next Van Gogh. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, Chach had a sign. I'm Mrs. Bauer. <laughs> <laughs> my sign for you. Um, I am the Spanish teacher. I teach, we actually have four levels of Spanish next year. So we have Spanish one. If you've never spoken Spanish before and you really want to learn, that is the class for you. Uh, we also have Spanish literacy one. Spanish literacy one is for those of you que ya hablan español en la casa y que pueden empezar a leer, que quieren aprender a escribir. Um, and so that class is para los que ya hablan español. Aunque no pueden escribir ni leer mucho, van a intentar en esta clase. Um, we also have Spanish 2. If you kind of understood what I said, but not really, you speak a little bit of Spanish here and there, that might be the class for you. Um, and then we also have Spanish literacy too. Esta clase es para los que ya hablan, ya leen y ya escriben en español casi perfectamente, pero quieren reforzar lo que ya saben hacer. So basically Spanish one and two, one never, two kind of speak Spanish, Spanish literacy one, you can speak it, you want to learn to read it and write it. And Spanish literacy too, um, you can already do some of those things and you just wanna get better at it. So try to make your choices, do your best. And I can't wait to see you next year. Ya nos vemos. Hi, and I'm Mr. Pratt. I'll be teaching you agricultural sciences. We'll be learning about science from planting from seeds all the way to your completed flowers. Um, different hydroponics, different soils, what makes plants grow the best, and learning about how they grow and what it is that makes them grow. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Hi, Mrs. Kirkwood. I'm going to be holding a STEM class for sixth grade next year. Um, in this class, you're going to be working in groups as a team, and um, you're going to solve problems using science, technology, engineering, which is like building and creating things, and of course, math. Um, this class will start by working together to overcome challenges as a team um, of extreme weather and dangerous trail conditions to conquer the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. Um, if you love working in teams and with peers and science and math, um, then this might be the class for you. I see Ms. Kircher trying to talk, but you were on mute. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Um, <laughs> hello, I'm Ms. Evans Kircher, and I teach orchestra and choir here at Trainer Middle. We also have band available for our sixth graders, taught by Ms. McCulley. We learn the basics of sounding good and how to read music and the joy of a great performance. For those of you who already have experience in band, orchestra, or choir, we do have an advanced class with some more challenging music and more opportunities to perform including representing trainer around our community and our town. Uh, for this fall, we're getting ready for a little bit of classical rock and a little funk and everything else in between. We hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Miss Dodge. Um, I will be teaching home economics next year. So we're gonna learn how to do some cooking, some baking, some sewing, maybe a little gardening if we can. Um, and you'll basically just learn how to make your favorite recipes in the classroom and then you can take them home and you can surprise your parents and your families by making them there. Or you can surprise your Mrs. principal. Turner. 
<laughs> or you can cook for all of your teachers. <laughs> we will bake for all of the teachers. This Maybe not chicken, but we'll make some brownies. <laughs> will you guys be making any like Spanish dishes? Oh yeah. Oh, We're going to make tamales. I have that plan. And then um, we have a homemade uh, concha recipe. Oh, delicious. And Pratt, are you going to be uh, growing the veggies? There you go. Yeah, yeah, we gotta work together on that. Yeah. Awesome. And together. then you can grow the flowers for art. <laughs> you can dry those petals. There you go. <laughs> All right, Hartman, you got something for us? The community service class can help with some of that too. Because Trainers Community Service class, um, which is taught by Ms. Hartman and assisted by me, Ms. Hawkins, is a way to make, uh, for you to make our school and community a better place. You guys will be given the tools you need to give back to your school, as well as to our entire surrounding trainer community. Students who want to apply for it, um, you just need to have one positive character reference from a current teacher and just provide a little small paragraph on why you want to be in community service. So what are your plans to make our school and our area better? And don't, don't forget, oh, again, I'm Mrs. Harmon. Don't forget in community service, this is the leadership team and it's kind of your pathway to leadership. If you want to get involved with assemblies and dances, that would be Ms. Hawkins. I'm Mrs. March. I'll be teaching creative writing this year, and we're going to work on writing skills and using our imagination to create pieces of work. Hope to have you in my class. I know a lot of those guys like to write song lyrics and raps and those kinds of things. Will you do that too, Ms. March? We will, for sure. Cool. I think that's all of us. Let the counselors know or give us a call if you have any questions about your elective choices. We look forward to seeing you next year. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.